Hi, we are now to the step of applying your foundation and I know it can get scary. I know it can get intimidating, but I promise it's a simple four or five step makeup application and it's very, very simple. I can guide you through it and I will um, share with you how I apply my makeup. So we saw earlier that we apply, we created our compact. We did light to dark with a lip and cheek at the bottom. On the second layer, you have some powders. Um, so like such as eyeshadows, vanilla dust, illuminator, and all these things. So now we are to the step of how do we apply our makeup? And I'm going to share a little graphic at the bottom right here. It'll show you um, what those colors are and where they're supposed to be going. So we have a brightening highlight, a contour, and a main highlight. Those are the three main colors that we need to understand. Other than that, it's just the bronzer and the lip and cheek. That's it. So we know that lip and cheeks goes on the cheeks and on the lips, so that's very simple. Bronzer, you can choose to apply it or not. Usually I apply it on the areas where the sun will hit my face and typically give me a little bit more of a, a tan in those areas. So really, really that's up to you how you apply your bronzer. So let's get down to the three main colors. Brightening highlight is the shade that is the lightest of all. Bright, think of it as like really um, light color, bright color, you wanna bring in light to your face. Main highlight is the color that is going to match generally your skin. So your neck and chest area, and you want your jaw to match that area. So that's your main highlight. Contour is to create shadows. So we have natural shadows on our face. So right here, if you look at mine, you can see um, shadows created right here on my forehead right here along my nose. You can see um, also contour, well, shadows on my jaw area. So contour is to help create those, those to keep those shadows because when we apply a one color foundation on our faces, we are, we like to say that it's almost like a, um, a chicken nugget. It's a, just a one color everywhere, but our face has dimension and by doing contour, we're um, just keeping those, those dimensions, accentuating the cheekbones, accentuating that jawline, creating a little bit of shadow on our nose, which, which we love to say that it's our $14 nose job. <laughs> and um, sometimes we'll use contour to bring the forehead down. If we feel like we have a large forehead, we can bring um, shadows up t uh, at the top here to uh, minimize the visual effect of a larger forehead. So there's a ton of um, benefits of doing a contour and I get that it's scary, but I promise it gets, it gets not as scary when you start blending. So the graphic down here, contour is applied just below the cheekbone. So the first thing that you'll do is find your cheekbone and you're gonna apply that contour right underneath that cheekbone, almost pressing against the bone. And you're gonna do that on both sides. The second thing, that, the second place you're gonna place that contour is on your forehead. So right here on each side, and you can choose to bring it across. I sometimes do as well, uh, but generally I put it right here. I have an oval face, so having an oval face, I have to create a little bit more dimension. So I love to create the triangle shape uh, on my forehead. And the next place that I also put it is along my nose here on each side. And I love to use my ring finger for this. I go in to the contour, rub both fingers in and squeeze my, my fingers together and just slide it down. It creates the perfect line on your nose for the contour. I also love to put the contour on the jaw and I feel like when um, I explain this, sometimes it's misunderstood, but let me try to explain it a little bit. 
when you apply contour you do not want to extend your neck you want to keep your face facing straight in front and when you apply the contour you want to grab it right at the at um, the connection where your ear is at you want to press the brush underneath the jawline and then you're going to slide it so that it hits right at that jawline right underneath so you're going to slide it right underneath it and it's going to create some shadows so same thing on this side start at the ear and bring it down on that jaw and so that creates a shadow that you'll then blend down so we want to keep this jaw area very clean um, and you want to keep it what I mean clean is I don't want the contour to be brought down to the jaw area you want that to be light so you're when you're gonna apply the contour right here you're gonna start blending it up towards your hair and um, same thing on your forehead you're gonna start blending it towards your hairline so after you're completed with the contour, the next step is going to be your brightening highlight, which is this color here, the lighter color first. So I love to say that the brighting bright color, you want to apply that in your T-zone. And the T-zone is if you were to draw a T on your face, that's where you want to put this color. So you want to put it right here in between the two, um, the two brows a little bit maybe like this big, um, you're going to bring it onto your nose above the lip on your chin. So you've got the straight vertical line. And the second line is going to be horizontal line. So you're going to put it underneath your eyes. And when you apply this underneath your eyes, I'm going to show you really quickly how I apply it. You can use your finger, you can use a brush, but generally I concentrate that color right here in in the corner of my eyes and then on the outer corner and I um, do not apply any of it in the center because when you're going to blend the two together just like this it's going to prevent actually that it's going to prevent that um, you'll have too much makeup and you'll find if you apply some makeup in the center you'll find that your makeup might actually set into some of your crease so you want to keep this color on the outer corners of your eyes and you simply blend the two together you can bring it down a little bit if you wish that's up to you I love to bring it down as a triangle and um, that's basically where you apply your brightening highlight so again in a t-zone the last color is your main highlight. The main highlight is the darker of the two brighter colors, and that is going to be applied everywhere else. So when you apply your contour, you have your contour everywhere, you have your T-zone, you're missing this area right here. So I like to say that the main highlight is going on to the beard area. So this color right here, I would apply it completely across here, a little bit on each side of my brightening highlight and right here on the apples of my cheeks excuse me and once you've applied all of these colors you can use your brush um, personally I love the BB brush to blend but you if you have a different brush it's because we've worked together and we have figured a brush that is perfect for the um, application that you're looking for if you're looking for a heavier finish then you're most likely going to have the detail brush which is this one here or you're going to have the buff brush um, which is this brush here okay so any brushes is fine it's just I love to use this brush to blend I use the smaller end and I simply go in and I start um, working the makeup in circles to make sure that it's all blended properly all blended together and I also use this brush for my blush so I go in just a tiny bit and I apply the blush right on the apples of my cheeks and you can start from the back and then work your way in the front which will um, give you a light blush application so that's how I 
apply my makeup and um, don't hesitate if you have any questions. I do have some additional videos on my Facebook VIP group. I also have additional videos on my Instagram and um, I'm always here to help if you need me. Sometimes I will say that sometimes you'll have an additional color. For example, you might have just an extra color that I put in there. Sometimes it's mango, June, or Frenchy. Um, it could also be Aspen. So some of, if you have one of these four colors, it's possibly because you've brought up the fact that you have either dark under eyes or some large redness. That color, that extra color is going to be applied before everything else. You're gonna apply a very minimal um, amount to the area that you're looking to hide. So if you have very large rosacea right here on your cheeks, you're gonna take just a tiny bit of this on the tip of your finger very little amount and you're going to tap that all on that problem area that you're trying to hide and you're going to see it disappear from there you're you're able to use your main highlight um remember main highlight is the one that um is the same as your neck and chest area you're going to be able to use that color but gently tap it on so this is a buildable makeup product i would say if you are trying to hide something do not swipe because if you're swiping that will remove the previous color so you want to gently tap in the new color right on top of that correcting color and i can guide you into that if you need me um, but generally if it's one of those four colors so again june aspen um Frenchy or uh, mango, those are four colors that are um, usually used to hide um, some um, of our little things that we're trying to hide. So again, um, if you need me, I'm here, but I hope this video was helpful for you. I am, um, I'm leaving this little graphic down here and I can send that through um, Messenger if needed. So thank you for watching.